Hello, yep, it's me, Jenny B, and today I am going to decorate these press on nails that I had painted and added glitter to probably last year sometime. So, yep, here's whole set. So, I'm going to do an extra something fun to these four nails. So, they should be the ring finger and the ring finger and the middle finger. So, let's do something fun with that. I'm going to turn them around so I can see them. I have some gems I'm going to add to them. I have my little gem pen. I got this off of Twinkle Tea, but you can also find them on um, Amazon. And I have this Crackle Polish from e -Nail Couture. I bought it a while ago. I haven't actually used it yet. I think I tried playing with it and I did it wrong because that's how I work. So I'm shaking it up because I don't know. It's supposed to dry on its own and crackle. So I have this beautiful teal color. I thought that'd be fun to see the effect of the sparkle and the gray that I have on underneath. So I am going to paint this on. And let's see what it does. So I'm going to put a nice coat on each nail. And we'll see where it goes from here. So it says crackle gel polish, but you do not put it under the light. So that's misleading. It should just say crackle polish. But hey, that's just me. So I don't know if they still sell it. I'll have the link to Eno Couture site down below. Because this is an older product. So there was a set of couple different colors and I saw this teal. So I, ooh, I think I'm going to use that. So I'm just going to do this step. It is painted and I'll come back at you when it's dry. Okay, I am back. Let me bring that up a little. Yep, it cracked. How about that? It's a subtle effect because it's a dark color underneath. So if I wanted it to pop, I would put a lighter color, but that works. Looks a little fun. So I am going to make a more pizzazz by adding a, some gems so let's see i'm gonna just pour some out into the dish of these oh those are pretty i have this too so i'm just going to keep that in the container because i don't know what i want to use so i have i think i'm going to use this candy coat quick tip base so it is um Pretty much like builder gel type. So I think I'm going to actually, before I mess everything up, <laughs> I am going to put a nice top coat over everything so it doesn't flake anymore. So I'm going to do that. Kind of pieces it to, okay, yeah. So a little bit comes off on the brush, so it's definitely crackly. Ooh, a lot more came off than I wanted it to. This stuff's interesting. So, ooh, just put more. Oh, it comes like, it flakes a lot. So top coat's definitely a must. Maybe it's because I had a shiny top coat. I bet if it, um, just had the um, regular base would be fine but no I like the effect so we're gonna go with it so I'm gonna cure this for 30 seconds put my top coat aside and lots of little flakes on my towel so wiping them was good good so I'm gonna keep that there let's see what I want maybe I'll put a couple there we go. Things in there. Oh, it has a little, little caviar beads too in here. That's fun. So let's see what I want to use. Okay. So now that's done. Now I'll take this and I'm going to put it on the nail. I think I'm going to put 
put it on the whole thing. That way I can do whatever I want with all of the nails. So this will help them stick. And then I'll put a nice coat of top coat again over it because this stuff will be sticky. That will work. Put that back. Okay. So let's decorate, shall we? Ooh, that'll be fun. A little. It's the right way. Probably would be better. Let's see. A little. Thing here. That'll be fun. Is there another one? Or. Oh, a little square. That's cool. I like the shapes. I'm just going to decorate just have some fun with it let's see what else is in here oh a circle a little hard to maneuver around them but it works caviar beads attaching themselves which is just fine with me I'm just digging through this Let's see what else. Ooh, a leaf. Ooh, triangle. And line lost it. There it is. Perfect. Like, what else do we want to stick with it? Fun. Those are pretty. Because it's stuck to the bottom, but that's okay. And then another one. Oh, that's fun. See some of these little bead things. Those are cool. I'm just going to Sprinkle some of those around. Oh, let's see, everything's gonna get attached to it, isn't it? That way I have a nice long nails with some extra fun on it. Just spread these little beads everywhere. I like them. Make a little extra fun. Mm, cute. Okay, wipe that off. See what else I have. Perfect. These are pretty. If it comes off, there we go. Love it. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Like these rainbow beads. I don't remember where I got them. But they're pretty. Then just before you cure, make sure that the beads are in where you want them to. Let's see. I'm going to stick another one next to that. There we go. And up, oh, there we go. I wonder if I can shove a heart in with it. Ah. So it's not cured, so I can still move things around, which is always nice. I may have to. You know what would have been handy? My little tiny lamp. If I can find it, I put it. Ha ha! I didn't spill anything. Woo! So I'm gonna flash cure just a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Stiffen it up. There we go. 
like that. Ooh, I like the star. Stars are pretty. If I can get it in there. There we go. Perfect. And little one. More of these little ones. Perfect. Let's see, things are sliding up here. And perfect. I think I have stuff attached to the end of this. That's okay. There we go. That's fun. Okay. I think that's it for the gems. This little tray makes it easy to put them back. And they came in a little baggie so I could have my little Target container. <laughs> that worked. So I'm going to put this back. Oh, and make a mess because it wouldn't be right if I didn't do that. Right. Okay. Put these away. This little mix is nice. I think I got it off email couture. I could be wrong. Check their gem section out. Because this is fun. It has like several different shapes and things. I got a couple different ones. It, they're nice. A little selection of fun if you don't spill it all over the place. There we go. Ooh, did it. Okay. And I have some glitters in here. Do I want to use some? Because that'd be fun at the tip. So I'm going to make sure we're there we go. A little bit of stuff in there. I'm just going to stick it in the tip and put a little bit on the tip of this. See what sticks. Just give it a little extra shine. Then I'm going to put a top coat over pretty much everything. Keep it all in there. Because the glitters get they're kind of chunky when you're wearing them. That's pretty. So we'll do that. I'm going to cure this and I'll be back. Okay, here's some of the fun before I top coat it. Here it is. I think those look a little extra, but I like it. So I'm going to top coat it. Make sure it's nice and shiny everywhere. And that way there's the gems can stay on good. I'm just going over everything. Give a little extra security to the gems. Here we go. That mean, then the top coat can go around it. Maybe they'll have a chance eventually when I wear them. big old heart there we go so if I don't this, everything will just start popping off okay and this is the model ones top coat that I'm using so I'm gonna do that for another 60 seconds and I'll be back okay I am back I have them set up let me Put them a little closer. I don't know why I picked the heavy box to do it, but oh, there they are. So some little random fun, extra sparkly goodness and decorations on for two fingers. And then the rest are just little ombre sparkle on the tips. So thank you so much for joining me. So a little extra fun, blinging up some nails. 
And um, don't forget to hit that like button, nice thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all my upcoming videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And stay safe. See you later. And toodaloo.